What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning and organizing my apartment. I feel like now that we have all of like the big pieces in place, we definitely need to get some much needed organizing done around here. There were a couple things that I was just like waiting to come in and I was able to find some like alternatives because unfortunately some of the stuff was still on back order. So I'm in Riley's room right now. I have one last thing that I need to do in her closet, which I showed you guys in a previous video. I'm also going to be organizing her toys and really today's video is going to be jam-packed with a bunch of organizational ideas hacks all that good stuff that's renter friendly and also is going to help you maximize any space that you guys have so today's video is definitely a good one I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into the video All right, guys, like I mentioned, there is a ton of stuff that needs to get done. I am actually going to be organizing almost every single room in this apartment. I'm starting off in Riley's room by tidying everything up, and then I'm going to finish the last piece that I need to get done in her closet, and then we're gonna move over to all of those toys, and any mama out there knows that trying to organize and clean kids' toys is always a job in itself. So the last thing I need to do in this closet is really just to add a tension rod right here. Also take this piece out. I finally got the tension rod from Amazon, so I'll have that linked down below. It came in black and also white. And this is where we're gonna be hanging all of Riley's clothes for the week so she can grab and start to get herself dressed in the morning. So I'm gonna take this out and install this thing. This video is extra special because I have doubled the cleaning motivation and organizational ideas for you guys because this video is in collaboration with my friend Ryan Michelle. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself right here. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Michelle. I am a military wife and a stay at home mom living in Germany. On my channel, I share a lot of different content from cleaning, organization, decluttering, laundry, and home decor. On today's video, I'll be sharing my very first episode of my 2022 spring cleaning series. So after you get done watching this beauty's video, I would love it if you would come over to my channel. And if you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. But if you do stop by, please make sure you drop me a comment down below. Thank you again, Nia, so much for collabing with me today. And I appreciate you so much. You're Thank you, Ryan Michelle, for collaborating with me on this video. I will have her channel linked down below, so definitely make sure to go check her out once you are finished watching this video. And for those of you guys coming over from Ryan Michelle's channel, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. I hope you guys find tons of cleaning motivation and organizational tips and tricks that you can use to help maximize your space. Please make sure to leave a comment introducing yourself so I can personally say hi. Now that we have all of her baskets organized, the only thing left to do is to organize the top shelf. And I also wanted to put all of her shoes and stuff on top of this little like organizational piece. Of ignorant, you don't care what people. 
people say, people say, people say I'm going crazy for you, baby Don't know how you make it me feel this way What can I say? That's what I like about you All right, so I have a bunch of clothes that Riley has just outgrown. Um, a couple, like a dress also that scarf and then I also have a couple of hats and things like that for the winter time so I'm gonna put those in the hall closet and then she even has grown out of these shoes and everything so I am going to put them in her closet but I'm actually gonna end up using one of the bins because I did pick up some cute bins from Target so I will once I'm finished cleaning those out, I will put this in here and then put it up at the top of the closet um, because I do like to always have a bin for any time she grows out of clothes, I can throw it in and then once the bin gets full, I can go through it and figure out what I want to keep and then what I want to donate. This area is definitely one that I have been putting off for some time now. I absolutely hate organizing all of her toys and just like random stuff because kids pick up everything and then they want to hold on to everything. And God forbid you try and throw out a toy that they haven't played with in months. All of a sudden it's like something new and they don't want to let it go. But really what I'm just trying to focus on is organizing each of the bins and having similar or like-minded things in each one I will probably have to come back and actually like declutter certain things um, but I was trying to declutter as much as possible there was a bunch of junk in the bins as well so I was trying to get rid of all of those but how cute are these little bins I picked them up from Target they were on sale for I feel like six dollars or so so I'll have them linked down below for you guys they did come in other colors but I felt like the pink clearly fits with the theme of this room Okay, so here is the finished look. I absolutely love how it turned out. So I have the little bar up at the top and then I just hung a couple of clothes that Riley can basically just pick from every single morning and get herself dressed. Of course, in these baskets, I did put a smaller basket in here for socks and her stockings. And then in the back is gonna be all of her panties. And then in this basket is gonna be all of her pajamas and then her undershirts as well. I had some room to put all of her shoes and all of that kind of stuff up there. So of course she can grab for those as well. And then up at the top is just gonna be sheets and also her um, mattress covers. And then I was able to put that bin up there for any of the clothes that she just grows out of. I feel like the biggest transformation is definitely over here. As you guys could see, originally it was a hot mess. And now we have these cute little pink bins with white 
um, dots on them and I got them from Target. I will have those linked down below for you guys. The wicker bins from Ikea were just like constantly out of stock and I couldn't stand looking at this anymore. So in the cubbies up at the top, I kind of just have a nice little display and I would eventually like to start... Um, cycling her toys and everything like that but right now I just have a game that she got for Christmas and her Polly Pocket some crafts that she had made and then over over in the corner because it's the least like aesthetically pleasing is her lotion and then also any baby wipes in this this bin I put all of her like play-doh and all of that kind of stuff so we can just keep all of that in one spot and in here are all of her um like toys when it comes to learning so i have a couple of like games and everything like that when it comes to learning and in here are her like um letters all of that stuff i did end up just putting the uno in here as well um just to store it away and these two bins are basically going to be the busiest bins i feel like so these are all of her barbies lols random toys and honestly there's really no way to like thoroughly organize them than just throwing them in a bin at this point so we have all those stored away and then in here is going to be all of her you know coloring things craft stuff like in the box is all of her like glue glitter paint all of that stuff um and then i have some like stickers crayons and then at the bottom are her coloring books so i love how everything turned out it basically frees up this top area and then another cute idea that i had to organize all of her hair stuff is by reusing your bath and body works candles i talked about this numerous times before it's a great way to repurpose them so i have all of her like hair bows clips all of that stuff up there and then we have some more like hair stuff up at the top and then all i did was i used some e6000 glue to glue one of the containers to the top and then all the way up at the top i have this cute little like jewel knob that i picked up from home depot like years ago guys i've been reusing these things for a really long time and then over here i just have her headbands and one of her big bows if you really want to you could also put the headbands around here as well but i just felt like you couldn't really see what was in there so i just decided to put them over off to the side but let me know your thoughts how did i do guys i did my best at um organizing everything but i think it turned out really really nice heading on over to the bathroom there is like the least amount of space in here so i am reusing all of my like bins that i had gotten from the container store i love that they're clear and that fact that there's also a drawer so you can pull whatever out that you need so that's basically what i'm doing here is going to be putting these bins underneath the sink and they also are stackable as well Okay, so this is how underneath the sink looks. I definitely am able to get another one of these large containers. So I'll have to either bring one over or get it from the container store. And in there I'll probably put some more um, like hair products, all of that kind of stuff, but it's looking so organized. Over in the living room, I really wanted to organize the cabinet that the TV is sitting on, especially since it does have clear glass that you can see through it. And just being able to see everything in there was a little bit of a mess. So I found these pack of two bins from Home Goods. I thought it was so cute. It's a nice neutral gray and white tone basket. So I'm actually going to be using these at the bottom and organizing some of my stuff.
tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. Because this apartment doesn't have much storage space, I need to use non-traditional ways to organize all of my things. So that's why you see me putting, you know, maybe my laundry stuff in there, all of our electronics, nail stuff, because I honestly have nowhere else to put it. Okay, so this kind of like TV console cabinet space is definitely a lot neater and cleaner, especially because you're able to see through them. So I found these cute little baskets from Home Goods. I don't, when I tried to fit them up at the top, they didn't really fit. So I think it's just better having them off at the bottom. And in this one, I have like all of our electronics, all of that kind of stuff, um, stuff I use to edit um, my videos. I typically do them out here while Riley is asleep. And then over here, I just figured I would put all of my like nail stuff in here. I honestly have nowhere else to put them. Um, the bathroom does not give me enough space. So by throwing them in the bin, it looks a whole lot better. This side, I might switch things up a bit. I'm not 100%. Um, as you can see, I have all of our like towels down here. The only closet that we have is completely packed. It has like our jackets, coats, and that's where I also stored our Christmas tree and ornaments and all of that stuff. So I really don't have space to put our towels. And again, the bathroom does not give me that space. So I figured I would put them in this bin for now. If I can find another um, area, I will, of course. And then over here, I have all of my like laundry stuff. So it makes doing laundry a whole lot easier. I can basically take the whole entire bin out. It has everything in there and you know, 
easy to do laundry. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna put up at the top because I am gonna put the cleaning products somewhere else. And then like deep, deep, deep in the corner, you'll see some of my essential oils for my diffuser, which I am loving lately. It's just so relaxing at night. Um, again, I will have that linked down below for you guys. So I just have really nothing on this side up at the top for now, but I'll probably find something that I can um, put in there. And over here on the, um, on this side, on the top shelf, I have my like journaling book, my gratitude journal, and also I have a devotional that I started. So I like to come in here in the living room in the morning time. I like to meditate, write in my journals and all that stuff. So keeping it in my bedroom is not the place that it needs to be. So I decided to put them in here and it's a quick way I can grab for them in the morning and start my morning off right. Heading on over to the kitchen, this space needed a lot of work, so I'm starting off by wiping down my new kitchen cart. If you missed that video, I will have that linked up in the cards for you guys. So I'm gonna quickly wipe that down. And then also when I was at Target in the Target dollar section, I found this bin with a pack of four different organizational things. It was $5, you can't beat it. It came in black and white. I just figured that the black would be better and I figured these would work perfectly right in the drawer so I'm gonna organize all of my like cleaning towels and other and any other little small thing that can fit in here. On the two bottom shelves, I'm just gonna quickly wipe those down and I figured that this is the perfect place to store some of my appliances because I really don't have any space except for the cabinets right above the refrigerator and I do like to grab for them pretty often so I just don't think that that's going to work for me. So I got a toaster from Target so I'm gonna put that down there along with some other appliances. Trying to find some balance in I ended up finding these pack of three storage bins. It's by Target's own brand, um, Bright Room. I believe it's their own kind of like organizational type of brand. So I had a pack of three. I will link the exact ones down below for you guys, but I figured that these would be perfect for pasta, rice, flour, you know, all of that kind of stuff. 
This one is a huge, huge, huge container. So I'm thinking that I might end up storing some of the chips so that those don't go bad because that's really the only thing that I have a lot of at the moment. It is just Riley and I, so it's not like we have a crazy amount of food. So nothing is going to completely take up this bin. So I think I might just end up storing some um, chips in here. And then I figured I would put the pasta in here and rice in here. The thing with organizing is it's a trial and error kind of thing so sometimes things may not work and sometimes you might be a little bit surprised so just keep playing around with things and seeing what is going to work for your space. So I also ended up getting this pack of four um, containers from Bright Room as well. That's the brand and they can be used in the refrigerator, but I'm actually going to be using them in the cabinet to store all of like Riley's mac and cheeses and all of that stuff. I figured that would be perfect up at the top. It's not something we grab for on an everyday basis, but it's somewhere I can kind of store all of this stuff away and then it leaves um, these cabinets right there open for me.
Okay, so we have everything all neat and organized on the cart. So I ended up putting my pan down here along with my blender, toaster, all of that good stuff. We just ended up getting pizza, so we're gonna have that for tonight for dinner, so that will be out of here. And then I will probably find something else. I was thinking about getting some baskets that I could put in here so I can put, you know, my onions, potatoes, all of that stuff right in here. And then those are my mixing bowls that I have. And then just up at the top, I have bread, mini bagels for the morning, and then my air fryer because I use that consistently. So I wanted to keep that out. For the cabinets, the cabinets are looking so good, guys. I'm so excited with how it turned out. So on the bottom half, I just have like this little spinning wheel, this Lazy Susan, so I can figure out you know what I need to grab and then this is all of my gym stuff pre-workout um, collagen stuff to make um, protein shakes and then the middle container like I just mentioned to you guys earlier I have the chips pasta and rice and then all the way up at the top is Riley's mac and cheese and her um, soups and stuff so this is looking really really good and then over here at the bottom, all of our, you know, vitamins that we take consistently every single morning. I also have a little bit of medicine in here as well. And then the other two are just going to be all of like Riley's snacks. I'm hoping that by keeping them in the cabinet, she won't want to always constantly eat them because homegirl is a snacker just like the rest of us. So I just like the fact that I have so much more counter space now. Papa used to tell me love should never drive you crazy